Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. I'm Mark. Hato Zaki. Hato Zaki. Hato Zaki. Hato. You gotta say Hato Zaki. Hato Zaki. Is that Hato. a Tori Hanzo sword? I don't know. Let's test it. Test it! Japanese style. Mmm, Japanese style. Yeah. You pointed out there's a lot of different companies like reference or distilleries here. We've got the Hadazaki Small Batch Finest Japanese Whiskey. Yes. The Keikyo Distillery, which we've done one, Kaikyo. Close enough. Kaikyo Distillery. Us, give us a pass. And then please. it says Yanizawa Family Distillers since 1917. Uh, on the back, we've got Yanizawa Family Distillers. Again, the family. I think the, the Hadazaki is the name of this edition of okay. whiskey, and it's from the Keikyo Distillery. Got it. And then there's a family of distillers? Must be. All right. A so distillery if you know more, family. A distiller. A, a oh, family like a of. Group. Uh, yeah, the distilleries that are considered a family. That's what I would. That's Got the way it. I'm reading it. Okay. I think so. And that's the if, the Yanazawa family. If you of distillers, we don't do the research, so you we have do to. not. And if you know more, please put it in the comments. Now, the first thing that's striking about this is what. And I like it. Yes. It's the color. It's very clear, and it gave me a pause. But what? I've learned you don't judge the liquid by the color. What. I know what I like. When I see a whiskey with this color, well, there's two things at play here. One is really young. Possible. Or, or there's some damn refill, or there's some yeah. damn good whiskey in this bottle. Sure. That's nat presented at natural I, presentation. I like, I like the boldness. There's no color added to that. You there's no if if there's color <laughs> added to that, Billy messed up. <laughs> Billy Billy <laughs> took his break and did you put color in forgot. it? Yes, I did. It's been handled, and he turned out he did a tenth of what he was supposed to do. Oh, Billy, pour your, <laughs> let me pour yours first for you. Oh, thank old you, old friend. Thank Barto. you for the the pour being to the guest first, rather than you pouring for yourself first. Yes, thank you. So yes, this is very very light and pale, um, generally indicative of Isla whiskeys. When right. I see that, I think that's a very young peated whiskey, and oh. it's going to be delicious. Now, I don't know that's peated. I'm just... No. Yeah. Well, in it fact, is. so we're, are we dealing with a blend here or a single malt? No, this malt? is a single malt. It's a small batch. Yes. Um, I think the box may have. What did you do with the box? It just says small batch finest Japanese whiskey, product of Japan. Right. Um, Talks about a lighthouse. Yeah. That's the hot Hatozaki Lighthouse. Um, no, it doesn't say if this is a blend. Well, and you're right. I guess I I think so. Oh, well, right here yeah. on uh, the this fine spirit is created through our two stage blending of casks. Ooh, so it's a blend. Casks of whiskeys, all produced from 100% malted barley. Okay. Could be from different distilleries. So back in the day, they would have called it a vatted malt, True. which you can't do anymore. As soon as I understood what it was, they got rid of it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, I know what a vatted malt is. We don't use that anymore. What? <laughs> I just caught up. I just caught up. <laughs> lemon, malty, lemongrass, yeah, malty lemon, up front. Lemongrass with the malted barley all over it. Maybe a light heat. And I like this one. I had to actually tone back as before you got here because I was drinking more of it. I was sampling. Sometimes I've had yeah. some that really there's a lot of malt that comes through and it can mask a little bit of peat. I'm almost getting that malty in a very slight. I peat. would not disagree. It's either a little bit of barrel char or a little touch of peat. But I love that malted, that malted hay, that that fresh hay, that malted barley, not malted hay. Mm, waxy. And the lemongrass. Yeah. yeah, waxy, lemongrass, malty. Little, little nutty. Mm. Ooh. Wow. Mid palate mm. and finish. Um, mm. The malt is just, it's like a thick malt sweetness, vanilla, mm. honey. Go. Let me get the front. I like it. Mm-hmm.
That's it. That's my notes. <laughs> oh, I okay, it's actually when I said there's like a, a looking at the color, this is probably some damn good whiskey. This is good. Not quite as much flavor as I was really wanting, but mm. all of these notes, it's real. It's, it's citrusy. It's malty. Citrus. Uh, lemony, vanillas, caramels, oak, honeycomb. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's yes. all of those. It's really forty. It actually feels a little bit hotter than forty six percent. It does, than, and the palate's a little heavier. Yeah, which is weird. I don't know how to explain that. It's almost like it's got a thick viscousness to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, viscous, waxy. Mm hmm. Mm. Delicious. Hmm. I was bold when I said, like, you know, I, mean, I was really expecting a punch to the palate. There is, this is, it's very nice. You nailed it. Yeah, it's all those things. Talks about Akashi City. Hyogo? I'm sure I'm saying it all wrong. Mmm. I don't mm. like this one. I do too. Oh, that's nice. That's that a nice good. drinker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. If there's peat, it's very, very faint, very, very light, maybe on the finish. Yeah, I couldn't pick any peat out. There still may be some in there from that hint I got, uh, but that would not be why you would be grabbing this bottle. Very light nuttiness. Still can't get over that. Mm. Look how, I mean, I think it's showing up That's darker on camera than it is in person. Even. Natural presentation all day long right there. Mm -hmm. All day. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Now. Oh, good call. We haven't tried a little water. All right. Maybe I didn't try to up the angle for you there. You're taking a shot. Well, I saw, that was literally a drop. You know? Oh, yeah, sure. Double drop. Double drop. Hmm. Let's see what this does. That's fair. For, for 46%. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Most well, people, most Actually people would look at that color and judge, be, yeah, and judge and be turned like you did. You taught me with the peat monster, yeah, compass box peat monster. It was about that color, and I was judgmental. And you said, "Shut up and try it." I was like, "Oh, it's like you slapped me with a white glove." Shut up, try it. I was like, "Yes, sir," and it was good. It was real good. Mm. Well, oh, the water that toned it down a bit. Oh, you toned it down. Yeah. Um, and I get a little bit more of the nutty character that I didn't get at all, but uh, you had referenced. I'm getting that nutty character coming through now. Almost like an almond, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, it's lighter. Mm. Blanched, blanched almonds. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I like this wow. one neat. Now, with this yeah. one, um, we'll score it in a second. I did purchase this with a gift card that I'd gotten as well. Um, and, um, I want to say $60 was what that was, if I remember right. I thought you said we were going to score it first, and then... I may have, and I continued on with the money anyway. <laughs> we're going to score this first. We're going to score it first, bucks. and I'll tell you the price. $60. <laughs> you mean like, hey, hey, hey. To, to that end, though, the money doesn't affect me, probably, I don't think, maybe unless we're getting up into the 200s. I'm really enjoying this one. I'm going to give it a um, an 89. It's almost pushing into the the 90 there. The, the flavors are light, kind of smooth, delicate. 88 for me. So okay. Right, right, right below you. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's up there. I wasn't sure what to expect and uh, loved it. As soon as I tasted it, I thought, I love it. There's no there's no color adder, adder, adding going on there. Well, and I don't. I'm glad you picked this one up. I haven't been buying that much Japanese whiskey. There's really, over the last couple of years, there's been an influx of Japanese mm -hmm. whiskey. After the popularity of Yamazaki 12 yeah. and 18, Yamazaki uh, Nika, 12 still way over um, the Nika from the barrel. Yes, the coffee uh, those still. Coffee, you know, some mm -hmm. of those really kind of spurred. All of a sudden, we just saw this influx in our area of Japanese whiskeys. Yes. I mean, it went from three or four bottles on the right. shelf to 30. Right. And you just don't know which ones. Yeah. And should we try? Which one should we pick up? Even we don't but know what's going on. Great, know. great purchase, great buy. That's a that's a good good bottling right yep. there. Yep. And I that's think we can close it, it out on that. Go to ScotchTestDummies.com. You can pick up coins, glasses, shirts, nice. hats, but not that kind. Not that one. You it helps get keep the lights on with burned logos on it. Keeps the whiskey flowing. <laughs> you can go to 
uh, Patreon, kind of like Corinne did in mm -hmm. Switzerland, mm -hmm. we sent a card out. If you back on Patreon, even if you're a return or if you're brand new, um, make sure you provide your address. It's the only way I can send it. Some people don't. That's totally up to you. You choose. But we'll send you out a postcard while supplies last that we sent out around Christmas. Uh, there's a photo popping up now. And uh, when the fans get it, they like to display it. Scotch it. You Scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies. Thanks, Corrine. Ooh, way to go, Corrine.